Buenos dias. Short instruction video on caring for your seeds. Glass jar, especially the gentleman with larger hands, the wide mouth. This happens to be a natural peanut butter. I really like these for all kinds of storage. This could be a cotton t-shirt, a thin cotton cloth cut in a square, and the dry powder milk. It must be from a fresh box. And you could, depending on the space that you have in the glass jar, after you put your seeds in, will determine really how much of the powdered milk. So, you know, jam your seeds down in the jar. Powdered milk, you could have a string. I like these little Crown Royal bags with the, the drawstring and take the air out of it and then put it in the jar. Simple. Very tight lid and store them in a cool dry spot. Dark if you don't have space in your refrigerator or if there's a power outage. Now if you have electricity, everything's cool up and running and you're going to be using the seed in a relatively short time frame the refrigerator storage is perfect, uh, especially if you put it in like a vegetable bin where it has the humidity control. This isn't about so much about oxygen as it is humidity control. That dry powder milk is going to absorb a lot of excess moisture and that's the real culprit on uh, the longevity of the seeds. Also temperature changes. The more stable the environment, the longer your seeds are going to last. Now, if you're going for long-term storage, do the same process. Chill the seeds first in the refrigerator before you put them in the deep freeze or freezer. And then reverse the process when you're getting ready to use them. Take them out of the freezer put them in the refrigerator, and then bring them to room temperature. I don't like uh, slamming them from deep freeze to room temperature to ground. I don't think it, it, uh, it serves them well. So that's it for your seed storage. I'll be back with more. Take care. Thank you.